I'm just sitting here reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 26, which is the story of King Uzziah. And King Uzziah took the throne at a very, very young age, the age of 16. And the Bible is pretty amazing because it talks about how he continued to seek the Lord even at a young age. He sought the Lord, he loved the Lord, he obeyed the Lord, he trusted the Lord, he ruled in righteousness, and God was pleased with Uzziah, and to the point where he ruled for 52 years, actually, as the king. And it's amazing because God had helped him to uh, defeat all of his enemies, uh, the Philistines, and many others as well. God gave him great favor, great honor among the nations, uh, great wealth, great prosperity, uh, great power and strength. He was an amazing king. He really was. But look at what it says in verse uh, 15. It says this, Uzziah's name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped. And of course, that was from God. God marvelously marvelously, incredibly, powerfully helped King Uzziah until he was strong. There you go, until he was strong. Verse 16, But when Uzziah was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. And there is a tremendous warning in that account of King Uzziah that God honored him and blessed him and prospered him, gave him tremendous victory, while his heart remained humble, while he continued to seek the Lord with all of his heart, God was faithful to Uzziah and raised him up to be a powerful king until he was strong and his heart was lifted up within him to his own destruction. And so regardless, what I'm trying to say here to you is simply is this. It doesn't matter how great your accomplishments may be. It doesn't matter how close to the Lord you may be walking right now doesn't matter you know the, the blessings of the Lord in your life the anointing the authority the power all of those things the fame the popularity you know the prestige the prosperity all of those things right now that you may be experiencing means absolutely nothing because what matters is how you finish how you end and Uzziah after 52 years of being the king died as a leper because he went into the temple to burn incense which was only that which was appointed for the the priests only not for the king but because he was lifted up he thought he could do anything he wanted to do because God's honor was upon him who was going to tell him that he couldn't do it he's the king and he went in and the priests went in 80 priests along with the high priest went in after him and, and, and stopped him and said, you cannot do this. This is only for the priests. This is wrong. And because he became wrathful and angry, God smote him. The Bible says that very clearly. God smote him with leprosy. And he died a leper. He died a leper in disgrace, in dishonor, and everything else. Brokenness and defeat. He was, uh, Uzziah, who was a mighty, mighty king, blessed of God as long as he sought the Lord. But when he became strong, he was lifted up in his own pride and it destroyed everything. So it doesn't matter how successful, how prosperous, how victorious you may be right now. What matters is that you finish well. You finish in humility. You finish with a humble heart. You finish seeking God with all of your heart. And that's what's going to see you through to the end. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's a very powerful story. Read it for yourself in 2 Chronicles chapter 26. What a lesson. Stay humble. When God begins to exalt you, when God begins to anoint you, when God begins to expand your borders as he will, as you seek the Lord, he will prosper you and he will bless you mightily. But you've got to stay humble. That's the answer to victory right to the very end. Glory to God. So thanks for tuning in. This is just a little warning for you and for me. Stay humble and continue to seek the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye for now.